Hey guys, Talem here and welcome to episode 15 of my Skyrim modding series. In this video we are going to cover three different topics but we are going to do so utilizing the Skyrim Revisited Guide and I want to keep it simple and basic just to help you guys get your feet wet in these three different but still similar topics. The first one that we're going to cover is removing edits from an ESP file, altering loot load order for a specific ESP, and of course merging files. So we'll take each one of these in sections, I'll give you examples, I'll explain a bit about it, and with hope you guys will take more interest, dive into it to yourself, experiment, read the forums, just have fun with it because modding is fun, it is all about crafting a game to your own style. Let's go ahead and start with altering an ESP and removing edits. Hey guys, here we are at the desktop. And the first thing that we are going to tackle is making some very simple edits to the guard dialogue overhaul. Now this is this section right here on the Skyrim revisited step page. Now the reason why we are making these edits is because this mod adds some changes that undo some very important fixes found in the unofficial patch as well as changes found in the weapon and armor fixes mod which is installed a little bit later down in the guide so it's a good idea to get these edits and get them out of the esp so it cleans up your load order so what we're going to do is go ahead and navigate to this page i will provide a link down below and let me just get rid of that now and go ahead and open mod organizer now you should already have the guard dialogue overhaul installed. If you do not, go ahead and install it now. Or if you just don't want to install it, then you can go ahead and just watch this part of the video as sort of a guide of how to remove edits from an ESP. So let's go ahead and open up Test 5 Edit. This is, overall is a very simple process. Now all these that are checked, let's uncheck them all because we don't need to load them up. In fact, it's better that you don't and just focus on the ESPs that you're working on. So here's guard dialog overhaul. Let's click on it and give it an open. Alrighty, once it's finished loading, go ahead and click the plus to pop it. There we go. And here we are with the uh, categories within the ESP. Now, according to the Skyrim Revisited Guide, we need to flat out remove the armor and weapon categories. That is because these are the two areas that are already handled by the weapon and armor fixes mod. So what you can do is just hold down control and select both armor and weapons. Right click on one of them and click remove. It'll give a little prompt here, which is always a good thing. And click OK. And then yes again. And then there you go. They are removed. Now let's say you accidentally delete something you weren't supposed to or screw up in some other fashion. There is no undo feature in Test 5 Edit. So what you have to do is you have to close it, uncheck this ESP, and click on OK. And that'll drop you back down into Mod Organizer. But what you have to do then is run Test 5 Edit again and make the required changes because that procedure there makes it so the ESP is not saved. I know it's a little inconvenient, especially if you made changes that you wanted to keep, but that is just the price you pay for screwing up. <laughs> so let's reopen the guard dialogue overhaul let it load back up and go back into here select armor and weapons right click and go to remove and yes and there we go the first couple edits are done now according to the guide there's still one more we need to make and that's in the quest category so let's pop it open go over to the line WI Cast Magic 03, right there, and right click and remove. Boom, now all those unnecessary edits are gone from the file, no longer causing conflicts with you sleep and the weapon and armor fixes mod. So at this point, we can't actually close it, make sure it's checked so it's saved, and click on OK. And there we go, guys, the ESP is automatically fixed. There is no need to create a new mod or to drag the fix anywhere. The actual ESP from the install has been repaired. Please note, if you do reinstall the mod, you will have to redo the edits. Just keep that in mind. But as you can see, they're fairly simple and it's really not a big deal. All right, guys, let's go into altering the load order of an ESP inside loot. 
All right, guys, here we are inside loot. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a very specific ESP and tell it to load in a very specific place. We're going to go ahead and locate the ESP that we're going to alter. And we're going to search for the word citizen. Right here, immersive citizens overhaul. Now, as you can see, the mod is fairly high up in the load order. It's right here. All the way up, pretty, pretty close to the top but we need it to load all the way down here automatically. And not just automatically, we need it to load specifically after this file. So how we do that is let's cruise back up to Immersive Citizen Overhaul right there. And we're gonna click on these little dots and go to Edit Metadata. Now there are a couple ways that you can tell the mod to change its default load order position. You can set it to a gl global priority and give it a priority value. Now this value is often given to you by the mod author and it is good for placing a mod in the general vicinity of a certain area of the load order at the top, in the middle, at the bottom, etc., etc. But for this specific ESP, we need it to load absolutely every time after the alternate start mod. So what we need to do is go to load after, click this little plus here, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste in the name and click up here on the little disc. There you go. The little kind of guy icon here tells you that there is metadata present in the ESP. So let's go ahead, we can close this here. Let's go ahead and sort the load order. Click apply. And if we notice now, let's scroll down Immersive Citizens Overhaul ESP is now after the alternate start mod, which is exactly what we wanted. So let's close it, drop back into Mod Organizer, the load order changes, and we can see, boom, Immersive Citizens is exactly where we want it to be. All right, guys, now let's go into a brief summary of how to merge plugins. All right, guys, we are going to merge the Bathing in Skyrim ESPs and all the corresponding ESPs together into one happy bathing file. Yes, I did say that right. Bathing in Skyrim. Bathing is now a thing, and that is awesome because I don't know if my nose could take the dirty smells of Skyrim much longer. <laughs> I'd imagine it smells like cold goat. What do you guys think? What do you think Skyrim smells like? All right, let's get back on topic here and merge these mods together. Now, I have the Bathing of Skyrim and everything installed. So what I need to do for the merge plugins is I need to get those ESPs grouped together at the bottom of the load order. And the best way to do that is to go down to name filter here and let's just type in bath. And there we go. These are all the Bathing in Skyrim ESPs. So I selected them all. I can go ahead and get rid of the little broom now. Let's scroll down to where they're at. There they are. They're all together pretty much, but I have to drag them to the bottom of the load order. That's because the merge plugins tool requires all the plugins that you're going to merge down at the bottom. We can go ahead and resort them later, but for now, we just need to get them at the bottom. All right, at this point, we're going to go ahead and launch the Merge Plugins Executable. Now, this is a program that's easy to install. I'll provide the link down below. I believe I covered this er earlier in the series, but if not, here's a quick overview. Just download it, extract it to a directory where you want it to be, add the command Merge Plugins to your command bar here, toss it up on the toolbar, and you're good to go. Now, I'll also provide a few links of how to properly set up merge plugins. There are a few more setup steps to do within the programs before you can merge the files, but that's just something you can do on the side that we don't necessarily have to go over in this video. Go away, you're not involved. Uh, always injecting itself. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and open up merge plugins. Let's select our Skyrim profile. All right, now you don't have to check all these. They do not all have to be loaded. It's always better to just focus on the ESPs that you are attempting to merge. So let's load these and any of the red italicized files that are its masters. Your masters must always be present. There we go, click on OK. And the program will go ahead and load up. All righty, now at this point, we got to wait till the background loader is done. This can take a few minutes, really depends on the speed of your computer and how many ESPs you're attempting to load. And there we go, the background loader is complete. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to select the mods that we are going to 
merge together, right click, go to errors and check for errors. Because this is a necessary step to get a little green circle with the white check that has to be done before the mods can be merged. Now go ahead and keep them all selected because we're going to right click again and go to add to merge. And let's go ahead and give this sucker a name. Now we're going to go ahead and follow the Skyrim Revisited guide for the naming convention. So let's just call it Bathing in Skyrim Merged. Make sure that you don't have any unnecessary spaces in there. Which tends to happen with cut and paste. There we go. Bathing in Skyrim Merged.esp. Go ahead and click on OK. Now one thing real quick before we move on to the actual merging part is you need to pay attention to the color coding here. If the color coding is green, that means the mod has always gotten positive reports of its mergeability. Gray means there have been no reports. And typically if there's no reports, usually it's pretty okay, but you have to know what kind of ESP it is and what's involved with it. Now, if it's yellow, you need to pay attention because that means there's been reports of problems, typically revolving around scripts and nav meshes. And if it's ever red, it cannot be merged. Do not attempt it because you will break something. So everything seems to be okay here. So let's go ahead and just select them all again and go over to the merges tab. And here we go. Here is our new merge to be built. Now, as you can see here, I have done other merges. Most of these per the Skyrim Revisited Guide and even one big custom one of my own. But let's focus on the bathing one. So let's right click on it and go to build merge. It'll do its little spiel. Now I like to scroll up. Make sure I don't see any errors. I don't seem to see anything. Let's give it a close. And at this point, you can just close the program. It'll save up. Make sure you don't close that little last dialog window. Let it auto close by itself. That way you will make sure that the process is complete and everything is good. Now go to your main window here down at the bottom, right click and go to refresh. That is so your new merge mod appears and then go ahead and place it where it needs to be. And according to the guide, that is right after your other bathing in Skyrim mods. So let's go ahead and activate it. And I'm going to grab the Nexus info, the mod ID from this one and update my merge patch to include it just so it's all uniform and likey like. <laughs> there we go. But we're not quite done, guys. What we need to do now is if you see here, here's our new merge. We've merged all these ESPs, so we need to get rid of them. Don't delete them. There's a much better way to do it in case you ever have to remake the merge. Go to each of the mods that you merge together. Click on the optional ESP tab. Select all the available ones, all the ones that you merged. And hit the up arrow. Put them in the optional folder. That will remove them from the load order. There we go. Did I skip you? Yes, I did. And bam! All the ESPs that you have merged together are now no longer a problem. Just go up to loot, run loot to place your new merged ESP in the proper location. And you guys should be good to go for this step. Load, load, load. Click apply. Close it. There we go. Awesome. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me for this video. If you liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and joining my community, my computity, my my what? I'm sorry. I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I would love to have you. Put your comments below if you have any questions, and I will be glad to answer them. If you have any modding concerns or questions, also put that below. I will try to answer them or direct you towards some place that will. All right, guys, this is Talem, and I will see you in the next video.